Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you like some cleaning motivation and to see some new recipes every week. This is going to be done over a few days and I have regular cleaning and a few deep cleaning things that I'm doing in this video. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. But I can put an end to your fears Let me show you a place Where you gon' wanna move your feet Until they start to bleed DJ, take it away Tonight is all for you and me So baby, spin And let the music begin I want to apologize for being absent last week. We had quite a few technical difficulties going on, but I am, <clears throat> I promise you that I have um, my videos coming up. I have this one, I have another one this week. I'm going to try and post a third for you as well, and then there should be no problems in the future either. But if there are things that you would like to see, let me know. Um, do you like pantry cleanouts, grocery hauls, uh, dishes being done? those kinds of things, let me know down in the comments so I can put in my videos what you like to see. I'm thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself Bad vibes cut me loose 
This is obviously a different day. You actually saw um, another cleaning video um, from this day. I don't know why I didn't put them together, don't ask me. <laughs> but um, so this is just me cleaning up the dining room. So on this particular day, I'm going to deep clean my couch. It had a few spots on it just from the dogs and the kids. Um, you saw that spot on the cushion. Cushion. I'm pretty sure that was from the dog. Um, you know, dogs lick and it leaves spots on my couch and it drives me crazy. That's why I try and keep it covered also. It's just less for me to have to worry about. So I'm um, cleaning the couch. I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but it shows spots very easily. So when I'm cleaning it, I have to be careful on how I do it or it will show water spots even when it is clean. So this is the little green Bissell cleaner. And I really like this thing. We bought it just for the couch when we bought our couch to make sure our couch stays nice. Um, but I, I really do love this thing. It does a really good job. When we bought our couch, it actually came with um, a cleaning warranty, like cleaning insurance. We can call somebody to come clean it. And I did that one time and this was the machine they used to clean it. And I said, well, I think I'm just gonna buy the machine and do it myself instead of having someone else do it. But it does a really good job. Um, I highly recommend it if you need it for furniture or even just spot cleanings on your carpet.
try and vacuum my couch cushions before I clean them. Um, it makes a huge difference in the cleaning. It makes it so much easier. They still clean really well. Like I forgot to vacuum one of the cushions, but it turned out just fine. Um, just vacuuming makes the cleaning easier, but they do still come out really clean. Like I said, this green machine is a really good machine. Check out this water it is super gross um, but this is a few hours later and the first cushion that I had done was pretty much already dry and you can see that spot is gone so when you clean with that machine it does you know takes a I'd say about two hours for things to dry uh, but this is another another day I'm cleaning out my refrigerator I've got some really old food if you can't tell that is watermelon um, it's, it was, there were some gross things in here that I found. Um, I also found things that I didn't know I had that I bought double of, which, um, I don't do very often, but you're going to see me just cleaning that out and, um, getting that put back together. So something you will probably never see me do if you do it's for going to be a rare occasion and that would be to pull my shelves out of the refrigerator and wash them in the sink and that is because I have done this one time in the past with a different refrigerator different home and the shelf actually literally exploded in my hands and I don't know why or how it happened um, I don't know if it was a temperature change I accidentally banged it up against something but it I'm, I'm not kidding when I say it exploded everywhere into these tiny glass pieces and it was it was the craziest thing so you'll never probably never see me pull shelves out of the refrigerator and wash them in the sink
You're probably thinking, wow, that's a lot of cheese. Well, yes, I do eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> um, I pretty much eat it as a snack and for lunch and stuff like that. We also make our own pizzas and a lot of recipes that I make with dinners um, and stuff have a lot of cheese in them. But yes, I do like cheese, so there is a lot of cheese. So next I'm cleaning out my microwave and it really needed to be done. It was really gross. So that's all I have for today's video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye!